better fish. Because of their aggressive little attitudes and thousands of variation of colors, body shapes, and fins, it is not surprising that they are such a popular fish in the aquarium trade. You've probably seen them before at a local pet store or maybe even kept them yourself without knowing the fascinating story behind them. Average bettas you would see at pet stores are a product of selective breeding over many generations. They are the descendants of wild betta fish mainly from a complex called Wow. In the complex there are currently six known species which are betta imbellus, Cy mortalis, Smaragdina, Splendens, Betta Mahachinensis, and last but not least, Betta Stictos. They are, in my opinion, a slightly discolored but still a very beautiful and underrated group of fish from rice paddies and peat swamps from Southeast Asia. But these six species are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all the species in the wild betta family. As of now, there are currently 73 known species of wild betta still in the wild, and unfortunately, a good number of them are on the IUCN red list for being vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered, and very close to extinction. Some examples are Betahendra, Chanoids, Apiapi, Macrostoma, Simplex, Miniopina, Berdigala, and many, many more. With only a few numbers left in the wild, it is estimated that over half will go completely extinct in the next 10 years. This is where we step in. A community of thousands of people with a passion for keeping these tropical fish scattered across the globe and in many different countries, we have bonded over a common passion, keeping wild buddies. Although through habitat destruction, they might go extinct in the wild, it is possible that we can figuratively speaking bring them back from extinction and keep the species alive in the aquarium hobby by breeding and distributing them to other enthusiasts to make their numbers more abundant. Now the reason I chose this topic is because I have a big passion for fish and specifically wild bettas. I have kept many different types of fish in the past and out of all of them wild bettas would definitely be the most rare, interesting, and underrated species.